You may think there are maths people and not maths people. That some people are naturally clever and some people aren't naturally clever. But that's just not true. Well, not completely true anyway. I mean, I'm never gonna win a Nobel Prize or become an astronaut or something like that because to do that really, really complicated, that really, really high level maths and physics, well, my brain's just not wired that way. And I'm also not willing to put in the time and the effort. I mean, I have a lot of other stuff going on. But for you guys at the moment, you have one big thing going on. You have your exams going on and your maths exam is a big part of this. For high school maths, talent, talent, um, or whether your brain clicks with maths, isn't really that important. When we're talking about like really, really advanced level maths, it needs to be creative, it needs to be bringing the different parts in. For high school maths, we just need to practice. The really important things are practice, preparation, hard work, and this is the tricky one, confident. You may think those people that are getting the top, top grades in your class are the ones that have the maths brains or are just good at maths, but they're not. They're the ones that have worked hard. They're the ones that have prepared hard for the test. And if you think you're not good at maths, well, then you're not going to be. You're not going to do well in that test or that exam. You'll have failed before you've even opened the paper. So, how can we improve? How can we turn this, I'm not good at maths, I don't like maths, into, I'm gonna get fantastic grading maths. The first thing we need to do is practice the basics. My mum drilled me in my times tables. The entire journey to school from, I don't know, when we first learned times tables in, in primary school was me reciting times tables over and over and over again. It was boring and I really, really hated it. But by the time it came around to high school, by the time it came around to my exams, I just knew them because they were in my head because I'd practiced them for so long. They were just there. And it's basics like this, like knowing your times tables. If you know them, you could look at something and say, oh, that's a square number, I need to do this. Or that's a multiple of this, I need to do this. If you know your times tables, if you know your basics, your long division, your long multiplication, if you can do things like addition and subtraction really easily because you've practiced, then that's going to allow you to access loads and loads of questions because the majority of questions do start with these basics. And if you have these basics really, really sorted, you can do them really quickly because you practice, because you put the hard work in, then you're going to be able to access the higher marks. So I know we're talking about big, complicated maths exams here, and I'm asking you to go back to like little kid level maths, but if you have these basics established, it really, really is going to make your life so much easier. So go and practice the basics. But while you're practicing the basics, don't overwork your brain. If you've been sitting there doing your times tables or doing your long division, your long multiplication for hours and hours and hours and it feels like it's just not going in and it feels like you're banging your head against a brick wall, I know that feeling, we all know that feeling, then stop. Go and do something else. Go for a walk, go and make your mum a cup of coffee, she will appreciate it, I promise. Go to sleep, go and draw something, go and do something else. Your brain needs a break. You can't spend hours and hours doing the same thing and expect it to keep going in. Your brain needs to stop, it needs to do something else, it needs to sleep to be able to absorb and process new information. And then when you come back the next day and try it again, because you do have to try it again, I'm afraid, you will find it easier just that little bit easier at first and if you keep trying it every single day it will get easier and easier and easier and easier I promise but you have to keep trying you can't just give up after the first go because then it is just about practice how much hard work you're prepared to put into practice how prepared you're going to make yourself for the exams and once you have these you can start practicing doing practice tests and practice exams and then you'll realize that you're good at math now you're good at this and with that will come the self-confidence the belief that you can go into the test you can go into the exam and you can do this because you've given it to yourself you can't get anyone else give you confidence you have to give it to yourself and the way you give it to yourself in maths is by working hard and practicing